Good morning everybody, it is Friday. I have had a very productive Friday morning. I've cleaned, I've got a wash on, I've nearly drunk a whole bottle of water already, which I'm very happy with because I'm really trying to like up that. And I've actually just been in the middle of sorting out my beauty products, which is literally like my idea of hell. Normally I do this with someone else supervising me so that I like stay on track. And as you can probably tell, I'm not on track right now because I'm talking to you guys instead. Yeah. So that's probably going to be like something I dip in and out of throughout the day. I'm not going to vlog it because it's like just a lot of beauty products that haven't been used in like a year. If you watch my channel for a long time, you will know where my last beauty clear out was and I haven't done one since. And I'm not gonna film it because I really do have more than enough makeup and I feel like people just get sickened by the amount of makeup I have. I actually don't accumulate it anywhere near as quickly as I used to anymore, which is amazing. I'm very selective about what I have kind of like coming in and I tend to just buy a lot of my own beauty products now it's much less wasteful and just allows for like my storage system to kind of have like a good like use one up buy a new one kind of system you know my hair today is annoying me my hair in general is annoying me you know when you get to that stage of like a hairstyle where you're like I'm really over you now yeah that's me and um, we all know that I like to change my hair very regularly yeah i'm just sticking with it for now obviously i don't really have a choice because i cannot see my hairdresser so <laughs> so yeah we really are about to see how long my hair can get in six weeks so yeah okay i'm gonna sit i'm gonna sit here because i get distracted by people walking past so definitely surviving uk lockdown so far i think the worst bit for me obviously i'm like in a very privileged position um i don't have children or anything like that i can't even imagine being a parent Right now, my heart really goes out to you. I don't I don't know how anyone is doing it. I fortunately only have the fur child, which is great because she doesn't really talk back to me. So definitely feeling less like anxious now that I'm in it and I just kind of like have learned to focus and give myself little projects to work on and I'm just kind of like focusing on that and not really thinking about like the wider picture too much. So I've had the office, uh, which has really kept me very distracted for I'd say, up until the past like couple of days like I, I love working in it now and it's like a dream yeah so i'm cleaning out my beauty products i think i said in bits today sorry my uh white company order has arrived i have a lot of stuff to show you from them today that's going to be what we're looking at a lot in this video i'm very excited i'll get to that in a bit so what i do keep from the clear out is going to go into the drawers in my office kind of like as a little beauty archive that's pretty much it for the office i think you will see that on Monday I want to say in terms of the wardrobe room there are literally minimal updates I can show you what it looks like at the moment no actually I'm not going to show you what it looks like at the moment because it's a bit of a mess I've got lots of deliveries that are like living in there but due to lockdown that is now not going to happen I think until new year and that's not ideal it's not ideal but it's not the end of it's really not the end of the world um and it just means that there's something fresh for me to show you in January now that that's not going to be an ongoing project like right now I have decided <laughs> Decided that Christmas is going to come early this year and now that I've decided that I'm wondering why I haven't done this really every year because every year I show like my Christmas stuff and really in terms of like it being useful to you guys I should be showing it in November and not December not in like a few days before Christmas you know so if you're looking for a little bit of like Christmas inspo at the moment maybe this video will be it it might not be to everyone's taste I know my way of doing Christmas is very like very particular I did a big white company order yesterday and hopefully that is arriving today i think between 11 30 and 12 um i will be unboxing that with you i think part of it i think this is like part of it so we're gonna see because because i'm not actually sure what this is because oh oh wow because the item that this is was meant to be on back order but it has arrived i don't understand but i'm not i'm not complaining okay part one of going hard for Christmas. Ah! So we have these gorgeous like faux fur white, white company stockings. Oh my God, these are stuff. Obviously I don't have a full fireplace, but I will show you, I'll do like a full decorate with me video and show you how I'm gonna like do everything. I also, I will show you in a sec, I bought um, lights for outside my house. The past two Christmases, I haven't been able to really like put lights up outside. So, I'm really excited and I may have gone a bit crazy. I've got fluff on my face now. So anyway, I got two of these. So I can have two little stockings. Oh my God, it's so cute. Um, that in the front of my house is just gonna be a dream. Since I've had it like the front tidied up, it's let it's gonna lend itself really well to having a few little like Christmas decorations. I'm so excited for the rest of the order to arrive. There's one thing that I think is definitely 
not going to arrive until the end of November apparently but I can definitely make do with that and hopefully it will arrive in time for my like decorate with me video and still be like with enough time for you guys to kind of like see it so it's basically just a uh what you call it like Christmas tree skirt which I've never had one of before because normally I actually for shoots and things like that um I end up having so many like fake presents I I don't think I've actually got them anymore but I used to have just like a box of fake presents ready to like pull out for when I needed to do a Christmas shoot in November and I obviously don't wrap my presents until like 24 hours before Christmas. Also, let me know what Christmas videos you want this year. If there's any that you loved from last year that you want again, let me know. If there's anything like a little bit different that you haven't seen me do, maybe you've seen other people do, or just something that you would love, let me know. And I made a very big decision whilst Christmas uh, things shopping yesterday, Christmas decor shopping, a really big decision for me so i'm excited <laughs> to talk you through it later in this video i was honestly losing it in the office literally just sat on my own like christmas shopping at my desk just like the happiest human on earth i definitely decided to go all out for christmas this year because it's just been such a year you know like i just think christmas is filled with so much joy and actually why not start it early i don't know why we don't do this every year really i know that it's because my friends who have birthdays in November are like, let me have my birthday. On that note, it is Lauren's birthday very, very soon. So on my to-do list today is to sort a lot of stuff for her birthday. She told me not to bother and not to do anything. So obviously I'm ignoring her. I don't know who she thinks I am, honestly, like as if I'm gonna ignore the, no, don't do anything. Like, do you know me? Honey, no, <laughs> we're going all out. We're going all out. Shall I show you the baubles I got the other day now or later? I'm not sure you that. Hold. Some of these I picked up literally like maybe in September. Was it September? Yeah, because I'm that kind of crazy Christmas human being. Um, and the rest I picked up just over a week or so ago. Oh, I love these. So I will explain more about my, because none of these are going to go, but I'm going to explain more. So these are the ones I got back in September. I'm going to zoom in because these are going to be so difficult to show you close up because of the light. It's crazy to say, oh my god, I don't want to be zoomed in this close up on, but here we go. So they're these gorgeous like faux crystal, um, dream catchery type Christmas tree decorations. They're really beautiful, very bougie. So I got about four of those and then I also picked up this. The white ones, by the way, are from a brand called Decorous and this is a Gisela Graham Christmas tree bauble. It's got little white kind of snowflakes dotted onto it. It's like hand painted. It's got a little robin. It's very, very cute. Kind of traditional, I would say, for me. Then we also have this green and gold bauble. I just thought it was beautiful. It's a real, like, mercury effect, but instead of being a silver, it's more of a greeny tone. I have a lot of, like, wood in the living room, so I actually thought this year I could get away with going for something a little bit more, like, slightly colourful for me. And then I also have this one, which I think ties in, like, the more silvery white decorations that um, are the standard on my trees. It ties those in quite nicely with the kind of greeny tone. We also have this one, which has little touches of red in addition to the green and white. So I'm just slowly seeping in tiny bits of color like this. I'm not sure on this one, but it was really beautiful. And I think even if it doesn't end up on my tree, I think Ryan really liked this one. So if it goes horribly wrong in here, um, it will definitely still have a home. All of these are from Gisela Graham as well. And then we have these, I am obsessed. They're like little silver white acorns. They are so beautiful. I have a lot of little decorations like this and I just love them so much. And seeing as we've talked about white company and things that I picked up, I also thought I'd show you my new slippers because I'm obsessed with these. They are literally the softest, the softest slippers I've ever had in my life. They were a nice like lockdown gift to myself. So that is my little box of Christmas decorations. Been sat for ages trying to get a thumbnail with these, but the light in here is crazy. So it's about three o'clock. My hair has just, I'm not doing it anymore. It's gonna be like this for basically the entirety of November and Vlogmas. So just prepare yourselves. I'm gonna look like this. I'm done with it. And I still do not have my second delivery from the Wyatt company. So I'm thinking what might have happened is the box that arrived earlier from them with the little faux fur stockings in, the guy might have been early, so it was outside of the time slot that I was given, but I feel like he might have, that might have been the delivery that was meant to be delivered between 11.30 and 12.30 or something like that, 11.30 and, I can't remember. And I checked my emails and it's been dispatched in two parts, like a couple of hours apart, so I don't know. I'm assuming that my second delivery, it's larger, so maybe it's coming from a separate warehouse, so I will be back with you when it has arrived. Yeah, we're keeping it Christmas focused today and I'm not gonna show you any of my beauty storage sorting out because I can't, because it's in the office. One thing I do wanna show you though, 
picked up this Christmas diffuser from M&S. Oh my god, it smells incredible. They do three. There's one that's like a cinnamon and clove, one that is like a winter night, which is beautiful and then this one which is frankincense and myrrh and the cinnamon and clove is a really good dupe for white company winter if anyone is like trying to get the same scent on a budget the winter nights one is just like a real beautiful i don't know how to describe it kind of like a nighttime real like nighttime -y scent like something that i would normally get kind of from zara home but like the christmas version and then this frankincense and myrrh basically it smells like the christmas version of cow shed products i don't know if you guys have ever smelt cow shed products but they are incredible and um one of my favorite places ever to go soho farmhouse um, and any of the soho house groups but particularly soho farmhouse uses uh cow shed products and this smells like their everything like anywhere you go it just smells like this and obviously cow shed products are really expensive i want their advent calendar and it's like 130 pounds which is just i can't i can't justify that but um yeah this smells like soho farmhouse on christmas and it's incredible so i think this was 12 pounds i got the room spray as well which was five pounds and honestly it's what i want my it's like the low-key christmas scent you know it's not like too orangey i am beyond obsessed with it so i wanted to tell you guys about it anyway i'm gonna get back to filing my beauty products filing my beauty products am i okay <laughs> i'm gonna get back to sorting out my beauty products and i will be back with you when there is a christmas tree delivery or the next time i'm doing anything remotely festive i'll be back with you speaking of festive this actually is festive this is the armani advent calendar this year oh my god it is beautiful i am deliberating whether to keep this for myself or give it to my mum. Mum, can you let me know? Do you want this? I've had my notification that the second part of my order is coming this morning. I'm very happy about it. My skin today, I'm also very happy about this. My skin is doing well. It is doing well. I have this little blemish here and this little blemish here, which are like on their way out. And things are looking good. Things are actually looking good. The scarring is actually like lifting. And these are on their way out after about a week, which is not the norm if you watch my videos before you'll know if i don't see to a spot it's gonna linger for like a month and i'm just so pleased so yeah i'm gonna do a little workout and oh, wait for my christmas tree lots of you have been asking for me to do like an updated workout video i'm literally not doing anything different so there's nothing there's literally nothing to show i'm so sorry um this week has been the first time that i've actually worked out and done a mat workout at home in maybe two months so yeah i've literally just been doing like half an hour walks um every couple of days and it's basically been it and i'm quite like active on my feet for the majority of the day so not really thinking about it and taking it kind of easy i'm gonna do a little bit of skipping this morning and a little bit of squats and yeah <laughs> just done my makeup i thought i would show you my outfit and makeup today i actually watched through some old footage last night um from last vlogmas i really enjoyed watching last vlogmas back as well i was looking at the footage and my makeup just looked so cute and it was just a vibe i was very blonde my skin was so glowy my eye makeup was really nice so i've tried to do my eye makeup like i did it last uh december and kind of like last October as well, but it was like the glowiest in December. I know I used the By Terry CC Serum on my skin uh, last Christmas, and that definitely contributed to the skin glow. I'm gonna leave it for the weekend and try that product out again because I stopped using it because I thought it was causing my breakouts. Mm, I don't think so. I still, <laughs> I still had the most horrific breakouts once I stopped using it. So I'm gonna like introduce it into my routine 
um, after the weekend just to make sure that anything I've used on my skin this week um, like early this week I tried some products so I'm just kind of like doing it week by week so that I can test it but um, yeah I think the by Terry might have to be added back into my routine but I've kind of done a little hybrid makeup look of last Christmas and um, yeah my makeup this year and it's cute it just needs that little extra glow underneath you know my outfit you will probably have seen this if you watch a lot of my videos this is from Miss Guided um, and will have just been in a haul if you haven't seen that haul I will link it up at the top of the screen but I love this dress it is literally like the coziest comfiest dress I've got my white company slippers on with it this is just, it is so incredibly soft. I got a size eight, I believe, and it is just the dream. I've got a Pandora ring on this hand. I literally found this in a makeup bag last night whilst I was cleaning out my makeup, and I just put it on and it's been on since. And then on this hand, ooh, I've got two Olivia Burton rings and then two rings from Local Eclectic, which are just gorgeous. There's this opal one in the middle, and then this Moonstone and Diamond, I believe on my ring finger and they're just gorgeous. My earrings are from Zara, like my hoops, and then the rest is my usual ear stack and I will link my jewelry collection if you haven't seen that and you want the info on all of these. So just in case anyone didn't believe my love for these diffusers, I picked up basically like a year's supply last night um, when I was popping into m &S to grab some food. This is just gonna be the official scent of my home going forwards and oh, I just love it. I love it so much. You guys, it has arrived. In this box is my seven and a half foot Grand Spruce pre-lit Christmas tree. Okay, so we had a quick break because my camera battery actually died. I think I'm gonna have it here, maybe here, maybe right in the middle. I think that right in the middle could be really cute. I need to work out like where I move everything else. I am beyond excited. I'm gonna put a picture of what it is like, but um, yeah, so excited, so happy that I'm not gonna have to do Christmas lights on it as well, because I'm going to have to do Christmas lights on the other Christmas tree, yeah, and also, outside i picked these up from b and q and oh, this is gonna be the best i honestly can't wait to get this up i might have to do it maybe tomorrow evening i'm not sure it's definitely gonna be like in the next three days my tree is going up it's november <laughs> this is the best but yeah don't worry i will vlog that but basically i'm gonna have this tree in here because the ceilings are eight foot tall previously i've always been in rented places so i just went for a big christmas tree but not the biggest i went for a six foot um in the same the exact same style which i've had in the years before and i love it so i decided to basically buy the same one again but taller it fits the room better yeah being in rented spaces before i just never really knew what i was going to be dealing with in terms of height so yeah very excited i'm gonna have that one in here and then i'm gonna have my six foot tree in the kitchen i just thought whilst i don't have like a dining table in there like i'm not gonna need a dining table i just don't really know what the rules are gonna be in our country in terms of like what we can do for Christmas. So yeah, some of you I know will be livid to hear that I have still not bought a dining table, but just whilst I'm not able to have people around this year, it just doesn't make sense to me to buy one. My island has bar stools at it, so I can eat my dinner there and that is all fine. And obviously it frees up a huge chunk of budget, which is great. So it means I can have a very fun Christmas. But whilst there isn't a dining table in there, I thought it'd be really fun to put the Christmas tree up in there. It might even be that I can get a dining table and a Christmas tree in there year after year, which would be amazing. Though some people have suggested that it could be a nice like family, kind of like informal, kind of like lounging area, which could also be cute. I don't really know. I'm not, I don't really care. I'm not thinking about it yet. But the kitchen, despite the amount of like skylights in it and stuff, because it is gray, it is a very kind of like dull space. So I think having a Christmas tree in there over the festive season will really warm it up and make it feel so cozy. So I'm excited to go all out. And it means I can do two slides Slightly different Christmas tree vibes. I think some of my like fluffier, more glitzy um, tree ornaments would look beautiful in the kitchen on that tree. And then I can go for something maybe a little bit different in here. Now this tree is here, it means I can really start to think about my tree decor and I think I might have to squeeze in a trip to the garden centre this weekend. That is the only way I can currently shop for baubles in person unless I'm in a supermarket. But garden centres actually do really good Christmas baubles. So a trip might be on the cards tomorrow. We are watching Gilmore Girls and having a snuggle. Nala is in her white company Christmas jumper. You are just so cute. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. I've made it to the garden center. I am without coffee and no breakfast. No breakfast isn't unusual, but the without coffee. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, I don't know. 
Anyway, made it to the garden centre. I've already had to deal with one Aggie person that would not let me park. One of the reasons I've loved lockdown is because I haven't had to deal with people, you know? I'm Tuscan's garden centre, which isn't actually one of my faves for like garden centering. I really like South Downs if you're from like my area. Um, but it does have a very good Christmas selection. So that is why I'm here. Hopefully I will be able to pick up um, some extra Christmas baubles for my Christmas tree and get that all done this week. Um, if not, well, I've just seen some really stealthy parking. That is hilarious. <laughs> First and next to me, just like gone in diagonally. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to find some nice bits in here. Otherwise I'm gonna have to do a little bit of an online shop, which might take a bit longer, so we will see oh and i'm taking you in with me but i'm not going to talk because i'm going to have my mask on and i just find when i watch the footage back when i'm in a store with a mask on you can't really understand me very well so i'll talk to you in a minute So I'm back, I've put on some makeup and actually properly gotten dressed. I was literally in a hoodie and leggings before. A wash on, I'm about to do some cleaning. I know it's gonna be a very, oh, I also got food for a roast. It's about midday, so I know it's gonna be a really productive Sunday, which feels really good. You know when I've got makeup on that it's gonna be a productive Sunday. Um, the dress I'm wearing is from Misguided. You can't really see it very well because the light in here is very, all over the place as you can see very shadowy it's basically like sweatshirt material but in a like midi dress and it's got a tie waist i've also got my asos slippers and i've just tied my hair into a bun and put a little scrunchie in my makeup today was meant to be minimal but it's not actually ended up being all that minimal it's basically just my usual routine really but without one of my bronzers and a little bit less eye makeup <laughs> but it's basically the same but before i get on with my cleaning i thought i would show you what i picked up at the garden center it was definitely the right decision to go and have a look there so i'm gonna i'll start with this first because it's out i've got this little wooden log thing which you house a candle in which i thought would be so cute maybe somewhere around here i'm not going to do too many spoilers because obviously i'm gonna decorate with you at some point this week but i thought it could look really cute here okay, i'm actually setting you up on my camera i didn't originally want to do this because the lighting in here is a bit funky uh but the lighting on my floor is also funky so it's just not working out in terms of showing you things i picked up quite a few baubles this is one of the first ones. I actually got, a, I think, a pair of these. I like to buy things at least in twos, sometimes in threes, because the way you look at a tree, it's like you can have one in the middle, one on the side, one on the other side, and it kind of visually is very pleasing. These are from a brand called Decorous. I will try and like list as much as I can in the info box and like obviously say as much as I can here, but I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be to link all of this. I will absolutely where I can. Lauren is also on holiday this week, so it's just me doing the info boxes. You may end up with a blank info box. I also picked up these. They're almost like, I really don't know how to describe them. They've got like bits of gold in them. They've got like a frosted effect and then they're like this kind of bluey tone underneath, but from afar, they just kind of look like a gray and I think that'll work really nicely in here. And I think it's a really nice mix with these as well two of those i also got this bauble which is a similar style to the last one but it's almost like speckled like they did a lot of these that were like look like speckled eggs but this was the one that almost looked the least speckled and it was like more frosted i love the texture of these and it's where i struggle with buying the majority of baubles because a lot of them especially if they're like shinier ones are quite light which is lovely like in terms of like their longevity if they fall they're kind of less likely obviously not they can still shatter, but they're less likely to shatter than a heavy bauble. I love how trees look with the weight of a heavy bauble on the branch. I just think it looks so gorgeous. I've got these baubles as well, which have, they're kind of like a rope on the top, which I didn't love, but I love the actual bauble and I can hide this like in the tree branches. And Haskins Garden Centre genuinely had like the biggest range of decorations i think i've ever seen i think the snippets i showed you were such a small fragment of what there actually was it was incredible even when i'd been in there before there were sections that i hadn't seen so it was just like double the size that i thought it was going to be as amazing i am so washed out in this light this is doing me zero favors honey anyway i also picked up these little bells i got two of these they're so cute they're kind of like a worn almost like champagne colored mercury effect um on the bell it's got a little kind of like sony colored bead above and then it's like a really beautiful thread i really like 
that I like the whole design of this. They had some more traditional bells as well, which were so cute. I thought this would be a really nice addition to the baubles I already had because you've got like a few different tones in there. It kind of goes with the gold and it also um, goes with the brownie tones of the feather bauble. And I think it kind of helps to tie the cool toned bauble and the warm toned bauble in together nicely. So yeah, I loved it. And I love the little pine cones inside the belt. I think I've got two of those. And then we have the other feather bauble. This one is actually slightly different. The other one had spotted feathers and this one has stripes and it has a different thread on the top as well. And then we have the other feather bauble. And then in this bag, we also have this uh, kind of, I don't know whether it's a vase or a jar, I don't know what you want to call it, but I picked this up, I loved it. It is so beautiful, it's like this grey worn vase. I love the texture of it, it's just gorgeous. This is something that I feel like is not just for Christmas, I will have this out in the house all the time. And then we have the little like faux pine sticks i don't really know what to call these they've got little tiny pine coats on them and i really like these because they didn't have glitter on them i wanted something that looked a lot more natural and felt a bit more traditional um, i love stuff with glitter on it like i am a magpie my eyes go straight to it um but just in terms of like the feel of this room i thought these would be really really beautiful and they go very nicely with the bars things then took a slight detour i just happened to see a very small section that had lots of bambi themed christmas items Items. Bambi is one of my absolute favorite Disney movies. I don't know why because it is so sad But I just remember being so mesmerized by it as a child and I kind of like skipped to the very traumatic bits of it And I literally just been thinking the other day I was like I have no Christmas mugs Like I'd have no idea what happened to my polar bear mug when I was moving it might have got broken I'm not sure because I don't have it But I honestly don't know where it is and I was really sad because I really wanted my hot chocolate the other day in a Christmas themed mug and <laughs> They have Bambi ones. If you're new here, you might be confused because obviously everything around me is very, I feel like quite like a grown up vibe. And right now I'm pulling out like Bambi themed cups. I let my inner child out every so often. And this was one of those moments. Look at this. This is so honestly so special. A little gingerbread latte in this would absolutely make my day. I have been meaning to pop to Asda because I know they do like, I think a non-Christmas version of this. I think I saw someone talking about it on Instagram and I was like, oh, I need that. This was actually the first item from the range that I saw. It caught my eye and I was like, oh my God, it's the Christmas version of the plate that I wanted to pick up. It is so cute. This is one of those things that is so magical to me. And if I ever have a child, I hope it is as magical to them as it is to me. It's just... So beautiful. And then finally, we have this really gorgeous set of baubles. So beautiful. They're like a gold and a green, and they're like glittered and textured, and I just thought they were really interesting. So it came in a set of three, and I really like the fact that the kind of marks on them, I don't really know what to call them. There's these kind of like streaks. They're like a brownie tone, so it ties in really well with um the like feathery ones and then the gold bells i just think it's all going to work really nicely together i just kept looking at my basket like going back and checking and being like is this going to work is this going to work i'm nervous i'm excited but i think this selection is going to go really really well in this room so that is it for my little garden center christmas decoration haul i'm gonna get on and do the boring cleaning before we cook a roast later and i'm so excited for this roast So we have our roast potatoes, which I have peeled and Ryan has chopped up and they're ready to go in the pan. We also have our potato skins, which Ryan is an actual genius. You can make like crisps out of these. Oh my God, it is the best starter to our roast I think I've ever had. How are your crisps coming along? Thing. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's never happy. It's never truly happy. I am. I wish there was taste vision. It's so good. Roast potatoes. Almost ready to go in. Mm -hmm. Roast is ready. Those roast potatoes look amazing. I'm so excited about this. Ryan, what is this that you've made? I don't know. <laughs> Some sort of filo pastry. It's basically 
the kettle's boiling, ignore that, but it's basically it's sausage wrapped in bacon, wrapped in stuffing, wrapped in phyllo pastry. <laughs> basically Ryan's version of like a Wellington. I'm literally so ready for this. Honestly guys, put this soundtrack on whilst you're working and thank me later it is literally the most zen, lovely thing that I have ever done. And also very festive. Do it. Do it now. It really suits the vibe of my office, which I'm going to be showing you on Monday. Literally just trying to film a blank wall right now so I don't spoil it. I've almost spoiled it like 61 times. I just want to put this on Instagram. Monday! <laughs> so this morning I'm in the office. I'm currently trying to edit this much footage. <laughs> Definitely my karma because Lauren normally gets about three hours of footage. So yeah. Also just getting ready to shoot. I, I need to get my new camera out of its box because this one is just awful. I'm getting ready to shoot for Astrid and Mew. I'm working with them um around their black friday discount there's going to be a discount coming up with them next week so keep an eye on my instagram but i've got these gorgeous little huggy hoops and then this lovely little it's an earring but the back of it is like a bar so you can put it in like a cartilage piercing as well as like your normal um earlobes and aren't they just gorgeous i already can't wait to finish work later i am so excited there is a new season of the crown and one of my favorite things is just sitting with a cup of tea watching the crown like nothing nothing ever feels better those are two really great pairings but yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you i hope you're all having the best day and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye